Hey there guys. So I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, downloading apps on older iOS software. So one thing that Apple implemented, um, I'm not sure when they implemented it, but um, they implemented it a uh, thing in the app store basically where if you try to download an app and it's not compatible with your software, it'll offer you an older version if it's available. So that's how I have a couple of different old versions of software on my uh, on this iPad here. So this is an iPad 2 and the iPad 2 uh, got up to iOS 9 so it's on iOS 9.3.5. One thing that uh, you may have an issue with is if you go to try and download an app and you've previously downloaded it on your Apple ID you will not uh, you'll get an error when trying to download it. it'll tell you that it's no longer valid so let me show you what i mean here so if i go to if i go to search for youtube i've downloaded youtube previously so you'll see it has a little down arrow right here and if i go to try and download it it should give me an error okay so sometimes it will give you an error um, but if it if it doesn't, then you have this little prompt here. Download an older version of this app. So it says the current version requires iOS 10 or later. You can download the latest compatible version. Now, if if this doesn't work and you get an error telling you you can't download it, what you can do, and uh, it's, it stinks that I can't <laughs> show you this error here. Yeah, so it's working as it should now. That's exactly how it should work. If you get an error when trying to do this, go down to your purchase tab here and hit your purchase tab and then search for that or search your purchase tab sorry um, all right let me try this again search your purchase apps so in this case if it was youtube that was giving me the problem i would just hit here and hit download and it'll give me that error again, telling me to download an older version. Now the only issue is here, um, it will be an older version of the app. It'll still work uh, most of the time, but it may give you um, some issues. So the iPad 2 is now a little, a little bit long in the tooth. It is an older, app, uh, an older product. So um, the iPad 2, just for reference, came out in 2011. It's 2019 now, um, and they stopped supporting it with iOS 9, and we're on iOS 12, so it's been three or four years now that it's no longer not been supported. Anyway, but uh, for instance, you know, you still can get Google Maps and Netflix, and some games actually still work, so you'd be surprised with how much actually still works on this. Um, so it's not totally obsolete at this point. Uh, it is very, very slow, so I will say that. So... Um, you can access Netflix, and like I said, it's slow, and it may crash, but it does work. So like, you know, if, if you really wanted to use an iPad, um, an iPad 2, you can. So you got, so for instance, if I want to play this chef show, it'll still work. So there you go. So it still works. And it still relatively it looks relatively good. All right. So now, and, and you can see YouTube is still installing. Now, this also works on phones as well, on the iPhones as well. So this iPhone, for instance, is um, an iPhone 4S, and it is running um, iOS 8. So um, that is the version that came, uh, you know, right before, I believe, 2014 is when this came out. So I'm in the app store here, and this is like a fresh, clean install of iOS 8. Um, but I reset it and everything, but I'm not gonna upgrade it. <laughs> we'll leave it on iOS 8. Anyway, so the same thing, go to the app store, go to the thing here, and it should offer you the older version. So there you go. Now, if, if you need to, you go to the purchase tab and it's the same deal there. And oh yeah, look at that, <laughs> old school multitasking menu okay i'm not trying to double click and i'm trying to go home there we go so 
and we'll see if it works uh, if it works okay but um you know if you if you wanted to use one of these as an ipod and you wanted to download one of the music apps like spotify or something like that yeah go for it i mean if it's still capable so these old devices are no longer you know they're, they're yes they're obsolete sort of but as long as the app store still lets you download apps that may be a little bit outdated and still work, I, I don't see the point in getting rid of these devices unless you really don't need them. Um, so yeah, YouTube just uh, popped up on there. And like I said, it's an older version, but still will work just fine. Okay, and oh, I'll just use the signed out. So we can just go to Can I go outside? No, go ask your dad. Dad, can I go outside? Mom told me to ask you. So I don't go outside. You don't gotta ask me. Go have some fun. Mom, dad told me I can go outside. But you tell your dad Let's pretend you get on a bus there and you it's go. super crowded. The only spot that's open is between two strangers. So there you go. It works. Now, like I said, it's going to be slow, but it works. All right. So let's go to YouTube on here and see which version we get in here and see if it will see if it'll load a video. And there you go. It works. There you go. All right, let's see if this thing will actually pause now. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, like I said, again, it's gonna be slow, but you can do it. So even on iOS 8 and iOS 9. Now I know there are quite a few devices on iOS 9, that still work just fine. So you get the iPad 2, the iPad 3, the iPhone 4S still runs on iOS 9.3.5. Um, gosh, what else? I'm pretty sure maybe one of the iPods still runs on iOS 9. Um, but anyway, just it just just goes to show you, you can still use these devices. You can still download old you know old versions of apps, and it can still work. So you can still watch movies. You can still watch YouTube videos. You can still use the maps, you can still listen to music, you can still browse the internet slower on older software, but it works. So anyway, just want to show that to you guys. Um, but like I said, if you have trouble downloading it from the App Store, go to your Purchase tab. You may have purchased, you may have bought it or downloaded it previously, and it will let you download it then, okay? So that's if you have an issue. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.